time, we wish to convey to the public, particularly importers, wholesalers, and retailers of the affected accessible goods, that beginning next week, GRA will embark on the second phase of the enforcement and compliance exercise. Before engaging you this morning, we have already brought to the attention of the public a series of announcements in both the electronic and print media of our intentions. This is being done to avoid complaints of not being informed of such actions as in the past. Having brought this message to you this morning, we will invite you in the next couple of days to cover the actual enforcement compliance exercise. In the meantime, please help us disseminate the information of our intended actions. This time around, that is the second phase, the enforcement compliance exercise will involve the complete detention, seizure, and imposition of the required 300% penalty of the duties and taxes involved on corporates. I beg to repeat again. This time round, that is the second phase, the enforcement compliance exercise will involve the complete detention, seizure, and the position of the required 300% penalty of the duties and taxes involved on corporates. As I have said on a number of occasions in the past one month, whenever, whenever I have had the opportunity to speak to the media, I wish to reiterate that the days of impunity about non-compliance with the tax laws are completely over. We wish to convey to the public that they cannot choose and select which of the tax laws they want to obey. All the sanctions enshrined in the law on failure to comply with the affixing of the SI tax stamp will be applied to the letter. I wish to assure the public that it has never been and will never be the intention of GRE to embarrass and harass anybody. All that we seek to do is make sure that there is total compliance with the law. Let the public be aware and take note accordingly. I therefore appeal to the public, particularly manufacturers, importers, wholesalers, and retailers of the specified accessible goods to operate in accordance with the requirements of Act 873. To the larger and consuming public, the catchphrase should be no tax stamp, no purchase. Before I drank this bottle of water, I checked to see if there was a tax stamp. And I saw the tax stamp, and so I drank the water. Mm. When I see the tax stamp on the bottle, it means that the revenue around it is being accounted for. Secondly, I'm consuming a product that is sound, health-wise, and that it has the sanction of the Food and Drugs Board, and the Food and Drugs Authority, and the Ghana Standards Authority. So health-wise, my health is being secured. By the fact that I'm drinking a bottle of water, that's as a tax stamp, mm? so that my health is secured and the revenue for the state too is secured. So um, I want to repeat again. The, to the larger and consuming public, the catchphrase should be no tax stamp, no purchase. We anticipate the total cooperation of the public. <laughs> 